Hi, my Capricorns. It's Jamie Zebra 23. I am doing your weekly spread or your eight-day spread for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same-day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes, so please be sure to um, write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage. I have um, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy, lots more on the website, jamiezebra23.com. Okay, um, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Keep in mind that these are general readings. They are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. All right, Capricorn, Taurus. I mean, Capricorn, Capricorn sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cross watchers. <laughs> okay. So I do pick up that there's Taurus energy obsessively thinking about you. Definitely a Taurus involved, but I also pick up Aquarius energy is obsessively thinking about you. So while I was shuffling the cards, I was like, you know, for the next eight days, Capricorn. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cross watchers. And then they kept telling me, Aquarius, Aquarius, Taurus, Taurus. So those energies are definitely thinking about you. I do see that some of you will be getting a phone call um, from a um, from a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. I feel like you guys don't want that door to open. I feel like you guys are very angry with this person still, and you, you don't want to, you don't need them poking the bear. So you're the bear. You don't need to be poked, because if you do, you might lash out and get really, really crazy. I also see that for some of you, you're frustrated with a with a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Whoever the Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries is, I feel like they um, they kind of they kind of switch switch things around on you. You thought that they were good, you thought that they were stable, and they switched it up. Um, I feel like you don't like the person's attitude or their energy. I feel like maybe you're coming at them with being sincere, but they're being like really vicious and mean to you, and you're like, what the hell did I do? Um, I also feel like somebody. Don't get upset, Capricorn. I got to tell you what I'm seeing. I am seeing that there is a Sagittarius Leo or Aries pretty upset that maybe Capricorn isn't handling their responsibilities. Well, they're not being a father, that they're, you know, only offering, you know, $5 a week for, for some kids. And it's like, what the hell? And then they see you gallivanting around with your new girlfriend or your new boyfriend or whoever you're with, buying new cars and new clothes. And they're like, uh, okay, your children have holes in their sneakers. What are you doing? So... Now, so for those of you cross-watching, I get it. I see it. Sorry this is happening. Um, but what you need to do is you need to, to catch them in the act so that you can forward that information to the child support office because if, if they aren't court-ordered to pay it, they're not going to pay it, sadly. Okay, guys, so now I do see that you do have decisions that need to be made when it comes to either an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, or a Sagittarius or Aries. It's going to be a hard decision because there's passion behind it. Um, I do see that maybe for some of you, there's somebody that is giving you a lot of money or, you know, money's flowing with this person and you're living a good life. They're generous, but maybe they can't give you love. They can't give you true love, but they can like give you nice things. They can give you money and cars and, you know, beautiful things, but they can't really give you anything more than that. Um. I'm picking up strong energy of a fire sign feeling this way about Capricorn. It's like Capricorn can offer certain things, but then but there's a limit to it. It's like you, it's they feel like you guys can't offer um, something close, like something like a like more romantic, more like um, PDA. You know, they, they feel like you can't offer that. They feel like you don't tell them that they look handsome or that they look pretty or, you know, you're not like, oh, I like what you're wearing or you smell good or, you know, somebody wants that and they're not getting that, but they are getting everything else. So I feel like this might be enough for whoever this fire sign is, the Sagittarius or Aries to kind of walk away if they're not getting some sort of passion from you. You know, security is nice, but um, it shows that they want passion. And I know Capricorn, you guys are passionate. Trust me, I know. I've been with. I love Capricorns. They're 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 my Achilles heel. So I I love Capricorn. So I'm not talking smack, but I got to tell you guys what the cards are saying. I do feel like um, some of you are frustrated 
big time frustrated because I feel like maybe somebody told you that someone was your soulmate and you're like, how the hell is this person my soulmate? Okay, explain to me again. How is this slob my soulmate? Or how is this weirdo my soulmate? Or how is this nightmare my soulmate? Um, some of you may have went to like a, like a, a shaman or a monk or some sort of guru and they told you this and you're like set on it. You know, sometimes soulmates aren't forever. So maybe when they told you that the person was your soulmate, but energy shift. So like if a shaman or somebody told you this, somebody told you something like that. So weird, because but I see something. I don't know if you guys can see it on your end. But they're sort of like an iridescent. Okay, I'm seeing it right here. They're sort of like an iridescent. It looks like a selenite wand. But it's... It's in, it's iridescent, like it's not iridescent, it's um, translucent, not iridescent, it's translucent. I don't know if you guys can see it on your end, but it looks like somebody took a selenite wand, like a spiritual selenite wand, and just stuck it right there. So weird. Tell me, let me guys, let me know if you guys can see it. Because I have no selenite on this table. I'm going to tilt this camera down so you guys can see the table. There's like nothing on the table. And there's like nothing here to reflect. Okay, now it's gone. I just saw it like dissipate. It went like this, dissipated. So cool. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. They're always hooking me up. Okay, guys. So, um, so yeah, so I, I feel like that's the case, but I also feel like for a lot of you, you need to meditate. You have to focus on meditation. You have to focus on really keeping yourself healthy, mind, body, and soul, because you guys are going to have a little bit of trouble in love moving forward. You guys need to make some decisions about what you do want. Oh, back to the spiritual guru. So maybe this person was your soulmate for a time, but things change. People change, and then and then you you know you guys aren't soulmates anymore. That happens all the time. So don't be mad at whoever the guru was. Maybe at the time they were you know it was true, but now it's not. Things change. People change. People fall out of love. People fall out of soulmates. It happens. All right, my cappies. JamieZebra23.com. Have an amazing eight days. Ta ta for now.